Hi guys, welcome back. Well, today's video is requested and it is about my Pochette Matisse and if I am still liking it, how's it holding up? I get these questions time to time on Instagram when my bag is shown. So I thought I'd do a what's my bag and give you a one year update because I did purchase this bag for the second time technically <laughs> a year ago. A uh, little backstory, I believe it was 2017. I had purchased the original Pochette Matisse but that was about when it started having some issues with the glazing and just other things. Um, there was actually a flaw on the front of it and I didn't even notice it till I was filming an unboxing video for that bag. And I decided to send it back. Of course, looking back, I probably shouldn't have, but who knows, I may have ended up having issues with that particular bag. So I sent it back and it was one of those, you know, you couldn't get your hands on it for a while, it was sold out online. Well, funny enough, I have actually had my hands on a Pochette Matisse like at least I think three other times and just decided to purchase something else at the time. Anyway, finally I thought, you know what, I think that's a bag I'd really like to have in my collection. Um, a couple years ago I had bought the Coach Cassie. I have a review on that which you know is a similar uh, silhouette style and I really um, enjoyed that and I thought, you know, just one of those this bag was always in the back of my mind thinking you know you'd probably like that bag. So um, I was actually in uh, Nashville last year and was telling the, I think I had my favorite MM with me, was telling her I wanted something a little bigger than that, but you know, not as big as some other bags I had. And she was like, oh, I think you'd like the Pichette Matisse. <laughs> you know, it was one of those, she just brings it out and there it is. So anyway, I have the reverse and this is the one they had in store. Um, I've, this is the, first time in person I had seen the reverse was last year when I purchased this. The other times I had my hands on the bag was the regular monogram. And it was funny because when I saw this and tried it on everything in store, I had an all black dress on and immediately I was like, this looks so good with all black. And I have to say, I was not a fan of the reverse at first. It definitely grew on me and I have to say in person, it is much better looking than any pictures you know, online, anything. It looks very nice. And I actually like that it's a little bit unique. You definitely don't see these as much as the regular. So I'm very happy with this. I actually like that it has the black handle so you don't have to worry about the patina of this as much either. And also has the black right here. And I will show you what's in mine, but I have to say right off, I have had zero uh, glazing issues or anything happening, it still looks exactly the same. I do notice mine has always stuck out like this since day one that I purchased it. I don't know if that's like it's a little puffy right here behind it. If that's the way um, they designed them now to give a little bit more, have a little bit more material under here so you won't have those cracking issues. I'm not sure, but mine has always done that. So you can just see, uh, all the LVs and everything like line up to perfection. It has just been a great bag and I'm so happy that I finally have it and it has definitely been one of my most used bags uh, this past year. Before that, um, many of you asked me about the Sienna PM, which I also have a video on that comparing it to the Speedy, I think, Speedy 25. That is definitely one of my favorite bags too, but this one's just different. I like that it is a little closer to the body and it just has a different look to it. I still absolutely love the Sienna PM, but I noticed I did not use it as much this past year since having this. So I can definitely see why everybody loves this bag. It is great. So this is what the bag looks like. I keep my phone in this back pocket. I do have a loopy case on it, so it fits back there even with the loopy case. And then it just goes back nicely. Like it kind of sticks out when the phone's in there with the loopy case, but it doesn't like stretch it out or anything. So I've always just kept this uh, unzipped. So it's very weird for me to be <laughs> zipping this. So um, it does have, let's see, an adjustable strap. As most of you know, I have it on the middle one and I um, will put in a picture here. You can see how long it hangs on me. I'm 5'5". Five five. I find I like uh, carrying it this way a lot too, just by the top. And especially if I'm like just grabbing it out of the car. So again, as far as wear and tear, it is held up beautifully. It looks exactly like it does the day I purchased it. The only thing with mine, and I don't know if this is with all of them, sometimes I have to 
unlock it twice before it actually will open. Like this sticks a little bit sometimes, but I don't know. That doesn't really annoy me all that much. It's just something I notice I have to do um, a lot. So see that time it flipped right open. So I'll go ahead and show you what's inside. So again, this is the inside. And this is what I meant by like, there's just a little bit extra material it seems like here. And it cause it's kinda like, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of puffy. And you can see lines right here, like extra material. And again, that may be by design so that you do not have that stretching and cracking. I'm not sure. So this is everything in it. I just went to Target and returned something. So I got that receipt sticking right there. I What I do in this front pocket is I will usually lay my sunglasses in there if I don't want to bring a case. And since the inside's nice and soft, I'll just lay them there. So that's what's in that pocket. I didn't wear those today. They were already in there. Um, tissue in that front pocket. I have a pen and a lip gloss, a ra random Advil cold and sinus and a tampon. <laughs> so that's what's in the front pocket. Um, and then this back pocket, I don't actually put a whole lot back there. The one that's like closest back here. I usually just keep a couple pens and that's it. Oh, I have some from the anniversary sale back there. And I keep the little Louis Vuitton card and another pen and that's it. So in the main compartment, I have my keys and my wallet. This is what I use as my wallet. This has literally been like the best Louis Vuitton purchase ever. Out of all my bags, small leather goods, you name it. Absolutely love this. I just use it as my wallet, keep all my main cards in there. And then what I do is just keep store cards like for points or whatever I need um, in this little Kate Spade one. I have a compact for touch-ups. This little case right here, um, I have a couple of them, but you guys have probably seen that Vera Bradley that I take on vacation. I've done like a video about it years and years ago about like kind of drugstore to go bag, you know, it has like anything you could need, like band-aids and all that. Well, I only usually take that on vacation or if I have like a big tote bag. But what I decided to put in this little thing was all the little pills that you may need. So I have like Gas X, Pepto, Advil, um, I have Advil Cold and Sinus, I have I think a Bonine, like you know, just a few little things like that. And it's super tiny. I just got this like wherever the little pill things are. Um, let's see here. Oh, I and then in this one, I keep our digestive enzymes. I have some chewable ones for me and then the regular and then the ones my husband takes on this side because he had his gallbladder taken out a couple of years ago. So he uses a little bit different one than I do. Advil, hand sanitizer, and let's see. Oh, I usually don't have a lip gloss or anything in my purse except for that one I just showed you, that Clarins, but um, I was traveling the other day and this one from Laura Mercier was in there because it's the one I use probably the most. I do, however, always keep this little baby Charlotte Tilbury. This is Pillow Talk and I have the full size of this too, but I just keep this in my bag just in case I need a touch up or want some more color. It came with something, I don't even remember now. And then this is the lipstick I was wearing when I traveled as well. This is Gilded Pink by L'Oreal. I don't think they make this anymore, but love it. It's probably one of my favorite colors. Um, what I'm wearing today is, let me look over here. It is a um, Plumberry Lip Pencil by Laura Mercier. And then a gloss, I always forget the color of this. It's a Pat McGrath and Dare to Envy, Dare to Bear. <laughs> This is the gloss I have on today. So something I wanted to mention as well when I was talking about I had had my hands on this like three different times. I know that a lot of the canvas bags you cannot um, readily get online anymore. They're doing that on purpose, you know. I fully understand um, why. But don't think, you know, that you can't get them in store. Because again, I have seen them like when we were in Palm Beach about a year and a half ago. There was one just sitting up, you know, I walked by the store, there was one just sitting up on the shelf. It's funny because after the fact, I always think, oh, I should buy that because somebody I know may want it and I can sell it to them because they can't get their hands on it. But you know, 
I don't know, I don't think of it until later to do that. And then in St. Thomas, when I bought my um, Never Full GM, there was one, you know? Again, I should've just bought both bags that day <laughs> and in case I wanted it later or somebody else wanted it. And I can't remember where the other place was that they had one. Um, but again, they have them in stores. You may have to travel to get one, but I have seen them in stores. They are there. Um, if you know someone, of course that makes it easy to call up, but a lot of times they don't know what they're gonna get in. So it's just hit and miss. But when you travel, that is a good time to just, you know, walk in a Louis Vuitton if you can and see if they have one. But what I wanted to say with that, please don't pay over retail um, for it on like a reseller site or anything like that. I mean, there is no need to. You can find them if you do the legwork, if you travel, go to other Louis Vuittons, maybe the ones near you don't have them or you don't have one. Like I, closest one to me is about an hour, hour and a half away, um, but they are out there. So if you guys have any questions about this bag that I did not cover, please let me know. Again, there's pictures on my Instagram where I carry it here and there if you wanna see it styled, you know. I pretty much will just grab this bag with whatever, you know, it's, does it match, is it not? Like today I have on black and white and I just, it's my go-to bag, the kind of just, I have to purposely change out of it, I feel like anymore. But in the summer I do switch it up a lot more. But anyway, it's just a great bag. I can see why everybody likes it. But like I said, if you are not wanting to spend the money for Louis Vuitton or you just don't like the colors or whatever, you know, definitely give the Coach Cassie bag um, a second look because they often come in different colors, solid colors. They have obviously the CC print and it is pretty much the same bag. Again, I'll list my review of it down below, but as far as like everything about it, the way it's designed, it's pretty much the same bag. And I think it usually retails for about $350. So be sure to check out my recent handbag collection video if you're curious what bags are in my current collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.